So Destiny 2 is about to launch, guys. I am. I'm looking forward to it, man. We're about to be in the beta, and then we're going to have like a month, month and a half until it, it actually launches in full. I am super excited, man. I mean, guys, I'm, I'm getting the jitters right now. I'm thinking about it. But with those same things, I have some fears, and it's honestly not the fears that you may be thinking it may be. Some people are fearing the, the networking qualities that we're going to have. Some people are fearing the fact that it's still a 30 FPS game. Nothing can change about that. It's staying at 30 FPS. Some people are really upset about the fixed role system. I'm not saying that that's a good or bad thing. Until I'm actually in the game, I cannot make a judgment call on that. What I am fearing, though, is something that was apparent in Destiny 1 from the very beginning. And that is the community constantly yelling for a nerf to be done on, say, whatever weapon it is they're saying needs to be nerfed. There was so many people throughout Destiny 1's life that said this or that needed to happen to this gun because they couldn't compete against it. Now, I'm not saying that there wasn't times that in Destiny's life that some weapons were overpowered. The two-tap thorn meta was a bitch to go against. You know, the uh, the Vex Mythoclass meta, at, briefly as it was uh, when it first launched, that was pretty damn crazy. But again, a lot of those things were a little uncalled for, as in some of the nerves that have occurred throughout Destiny's life um, have been overboard, overnerfed. And I know Luke Smith recently said things can be fine tweaked in Destiny 2, but those same things could have been fine tweaked just fine in Destiny 1. Let me draw up some examples real quick, okay? Let's take Thorn, for instance. Thorn was a very powerful weapon. I think some things needed to be done. Uh, the damage over time was adjusted uh, and, and brought down to where it did lower damage. Um, but the weapon itself still stayed probably the only weapon within its art type to remain somewhat powerful. I mean, it still stayed somewhat strong. And that was because it had pretty good range on it. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. It had pretty much good range on it and had the potential to do damage over time. There was nothing really stand outish about it outside of that. But then right as the you know Rise of Iron was being launched, I saw so many people taking the forums and saying, oh my god, Thorn's coming back? I'm not playing Destiny. And so immediately, Bungie's way of addressing that is they put out patch notes that said that they were going to give, what was it, a 25% range reduction to Thorn, which really fucking hurt it. I mean, guys, really hurt it. The main reason why I still played with Thorn even then was not because it was oh so competitive, but because it was the, the fact remained that it was still half decent by just having good range. You still had to learn its recoil pattern and get good at shooting the fucking thing. And so that one little statement saying, oh yeah, we're, we're nerfing Thorn again before even launching Rise of Iron and bringing it back. We're going to nerf it one more time. That was something that quelled those arguments, those forum posts. It put away those things, but it still fucked that weapon over, okay? And there's been a number of weapons just like that. Clever Dragon the same way. I felt like Clever Dragon was super powerful, but I never said that the rate of fire needed to be increased. I never said the magazine size needed to be decreased as well um, to put it into a situation where it can only win out in 1v1 fights, fuck doing any type of, of multiple engagements with it. Uh, but I did say things like high caliber rounds and flinch factor needed to be lower for that archetype. No, I mean, that's a that's a simple, subtle thing, uh, and they did that, but they did it across the entire pulse rifle archetype, all of them, all of them, and so they pretty much got into a situation where they just don't flinch hardly any anymore. And so the the situations that we were faced with throughout Destiny One's life was over nurse and i cannot just simply say it was all at the blame of bungees all right it's honestly a lot to do with people in the community constantly bitching and saying the same thing over and over again which is really just tying into one thing which is i can't win a gunfight or match because of this scenario and we're now in a situation, in my opinion, where if you have sticky grenades in a sidearm, you can really have a leg up on people. I mean, straight up. And so that's a situation we can get into. And I swear to God, if we get into a sticky grenade sidearm meta, which I don't think we will, but if we got into a sticky grenade sidearm meta on Destiny 2, that game will immediately cycle out for me. Okay, I will find another game to play. Guys, that's my biggest fear, man. I mean, really is. I just don't want to see another nerf dilemma 
in Destiny 2, okay? You're gonna pick up new weapons in the beta. You're gonna pick up weapons when Destiny 2 launches. And if you happen to pick up, you know, Weapon X, and Weapon X is a badass weapon, enjoy that fucking weapon. Play with it. Have a good time with that gun. Don't jump to conclusions and say that gun needs to be nerfed. And the people going against that person and that is being killed by Weapon X, don't say, oh my god, that gun needs to be dealt with immediately. Fucking just have a good time with that gun, man. I mean, really, I, I miss having a damn good time with certain weapons in this game, man. Certain weapons that just had the embodiment of true power, man. And I want to see that same thing carried over in Destiny 2, but without all the crybabies that constantly yell for certain things to be dealt with. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy, definitely hit that thumbs up. And as always, I'll catch you all later. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.